What's up, Arkin family? So I'm the best, and I deleted this footage that I recorded about a month ago. So in short, I was watching Roxasaurus here on YouTube. I'll link her down in the description box for you guys. She ordered an entire outfit blindfolded, and I thought, that sounds like a good idea. Listen, y'all, I kind of have the style of a 12-year-old boy. I know that. Not only do I dress like a 12-year-old boy, but I have the body of a 12-year-old boy. The president of the Itty Titty Bitty Committee right here. I got to thinking after watching that video. I have no style. I don't know where to start. I rarely try things out of my comfort zone, so why not buy my clothes blindfolded? And I also wanted to do this video because I don't want this channel to be nothing but Dollar Tree tutorials and Dollar Tree hauls because what ends up happening is you end up turning into a robot and it's just haul, tutorial, haul, tutorial. We gotta mix it up a bit. So let me break it down for you. I had my sister come over to help me order some pieces offline. Now I chose the website Romeway. I've ordered from them before and basically their items ship from China but out of all the websites like Wish and AliExpress, I feel like Romeway delivers their items the most quickly. Like I said, I did choose that website because it's inexpensive. I'm not about to go on the Gucci website, pick on an outfit, blindfold, and when I can spend that money on a mortgage, Chipotle, ice cream, even though I'm in my 30s and now my body is denying me that. I thought to digestive issues. So what I did is I had my sister navigate the website for me and go into different categories like t-shirts and then I would scroll through the page with my blindfolds on and then point at something and then she would order it for me. So what I chose was a top, bottom, jacket, shoes, and an accessory. So after choosing my entire outfit, my sister put in the order for me and two weeks later I received my item. So through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna go and transition to that. Kablam! Kablam was actually a really cool TV show. Hashtag 90s kid. It's that time nobody's been waiting for. I finally got my package. I think it's been two weeks, like, to the date. I do not know at all what I bought. I made sure I didn't look at it at all. The only thing I did do is after I was done filming, I asked my sister, is it bad? And she said it could be worse. So I don't know what that means. It's inside of this plastic bag I purchased from Romeway before and it always comes in a plastic bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it, I'm gonna try not to look inside of it, and I'll pull the items out one by one. Okay, let me open this baby up. Um, I know that it's all gonna be in plastic bags because I purchased from Romeway before and when you buy items, it comes like, pretend you buy five, they'll all be in five individual bags. So the first item we got, oh this is cute! Look, I can see, it looks like I got a bomber jacket. Okay, let me open this up. I got a chicken thermometer in my room for some reason. That's because your girl likes buffalo wings. Like, you don't love buffalo wings unless you got a chicken thermometer in your room. No, not really. Anyway, so, oh, it is like an army green um, bomber jacket. So this feels like it's like a windbreaker material and there's something about me. I hate noises. Like there's certain noises that drive me crazy and the noise that windbreakers make drives me crazy. So this is cute. But I don't think I'm gonna wear this. I think I'm gonna end up giving it to my sister who helped me choose this all out. Cause I feel like she would like this. Now the sleeves have like this little like bunch to it. I don't know what you actually call this. I have no style whatsoever, but this is cute. I don't know how much it was. I will put it on the screen, um, but a good job, Bethany. I'm definitely gonna try it on for this video, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it because like I said, I'm very sensitive to noises. My entire life, ever since I, I was like young, like there's certain noises that like really aggravate me and irritate me or like just give me goosebumps and stuff and like the noise of windbreakers is one of those things. I know that's weird, but you, I, I, I don't know what to say. I feel like unless you experience what I experienced, you're not really gonna understand, but it's just like certain noises really get to me. Anywho, the next item that we got is, okay, I don't know. I think this is a t-shirt or a sweater. I don't remember what I got. That was, what? that's made for a baby. Oh my gosh, I would never ever wear anything like this. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of showing skin, I would say, just because I just, I just don't. This looks like it was made for like a 10 year old. Today's all about trying something new, even if that thing is a 10 year old's t-shirt. Like the little part where you tie actually makes this look like some kind of weird onesie. It's like a onesie for that weird furry thing from the Cricut commercials. The pattern of the shirt, I mean, it's whatever, it's just basic. It's yellow lines, it's just a little short. Okay, now what do we have? The next item that we've got is, what is this? I don't know. I got, <laughs> what is this? I think it's a skirt. It came with a little like belt, I guess, or not really a belt, but like a tie. So you tie it around, I'm assuming the top of the skirt, the skirt is not necessarily bad looking, but with what I bought, what the heck? 
What did I? Is this even a? No, this is not a skirt. This is um, I don't know what these type of pants are, but it makes you look like you're wearing a skirt. Red, white, blue, and diarrhea of brown. Okay. I admit though, I feel like with a white tank top, this could look really cute. But what do I know? I'm not a fashionista. You won't find my name in vogue anytime soon. You might find it in your local job listings under Bethany. Will work for Chipotle. I do know though, this ensemble does not go together. Anyways, the next item that I thought is. I don't know what this is. Okay, give me a sec. It's a small little bag. And inside of it, we've got some earrings. What the freak? What is, what kind of earrings? It looks like they're hoop earrings, but they also look like they're made to be weapons in the back. Like, what is the point? Okay, anyways, I got some earrings. Okay, let's see what we got next. I feel some sandals. I was really hoping when I got shoes that I was gonna get shoes. But I think I knew that it was gonna be, I can't remember. So I got these, oh, these are cute. This pink sand like why did I get a bunch of striped things? I've got three striped things so far. Anyways, these are cute and they like feel pretty thick. I mean compared to like you know the little 98 cents Walmart um flip flop to get. Honestly, pretty much everything I've gotten, besides the earrings, the earrings are funky, I like. So you know if you need anybody to buy your clothes blindfolded, I'm yours. Okay. Next item we got it looks like it's like a glass case, like for eye contact or glasses. It is, um, oh, there's sunglasses in it. Cause I was thinking, I was like, was this the accessory part that I told her about that I wanted? But I think there's sunglasses in here. Oh, okay, Becca, makes sense. Cause I was like, really, you made me buy sunglass case? These are cute, I guess. Look at me, I'm styling. I feel bougie in these sunglasses. The only sunglasses I own are from Dollar Tree. Okay, now that I have seen my beautiful creation, I am going to wear the creation. part about this outfit right now it's currently 95 degrees in Chicago and my dumb butt is wearing this when my house is hot so this is how it looks all together sorry I do not have a professional camera person to kind of give you a good view of this um, if I try to push this camera too far it just doesn't work this is how the sandals look with the outfit I'm not gonna give you guys a close-up because my toes are funky this toenail specifically it has fallen off like three times ever since I went to Puerto Rico and stubbed them on a rock so I'm trying to avoid comments saying hey Bethany you have Shrek feet and instead maybe people will say Bethany you have feet. I'm really dying in this jacket. I'm gonna take it off soon. I think the jacket is cute. Kind of reminds me of something you get at Forever 21. Not the biggest fan of the material. Um, it does keep you warm, obviously. So let's take this off. Right here we got the 10 year old t-shirt. Um, maybe this looks good on somebody else. Not me. I honestly feel like I raided a toddler's closet for this shirt. I feel like honestly it could look cute on other people, but I just don't really like it. You know how we're gonna get around not being a professional YouTuber? I'm gonna stand on a chair so you can see the pants a little better. I honestly don't know what's going on right now because I can't see the camera. But here are the pants. I got a skirt. I got pants. I got a skirt. I got pants. I don't think like I did the worst job. The glasses, the earrings, and the shirt all go together. I mean, if you had a cute pair of shorts, maybe it would look better than what it does right now. I'm not allergic to fake earrings, but they are making my ears itch probably because I do not wear earrings rarely. Um, the shirt, the material feels fine to me. It feels like, like it's cotton. I don't know what it actually is. It feels soft. Nothing weird about it. The pants feel like what you would imagine these pants to feel like. Nothing wrong with them at all. The flip-flops are pretty sturdy. Like they're not that cheap um, Walmart type and they actually fit me. Um, does this fit the curves to my body? No, because let's face it, I don't have curves. I swear when I was born, my boobs and my butt were like, I don't wanna be along for this ride and they left. So if you find them, please give me a call. They've been missing since 1987 and I've been on the lookout ever since. So that's it for this video. I don't think it's the worst. I definitely will probably keep the pants. I'll try to wear them with something else. Definitely the glasses. I don't know about the earrings though. I never really wear hoops. My sister, she wears hoops. One of my other sisters, not Rebecca. Um, the shirt though, I think I'm just gonna donate the shirt because I don't ever see myself wanting to wear this and I don't really know anybody who would want to. The jacket I would definitely give to my sister, especially since it's army green, she loves that color. And then the flip flops I do like and you know what, they're perfect for summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do another video like this for you guys and let me know down in the comments below if there's a different website you would like me to try it out. Anyways, and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe 
so you'll be notified when I upload. But if you want to make sure you're notified, make sure you hit that bell button too because YouTube is whack. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. My eyes hurt now because I'm used to seeing dark. Anyways, take care. Bye!